Well, we got a little rain delay. So, no building today. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our uh, um, holiday buggy. So, this will be the unboxing video. Um, yeah, you see, you see, this is a out of nowhere storm. Rain is coming. So no work outside, so but that's good. It's fortunate misfortune. I mean the holiday buggy is gonna get built right now. Alright, I'll be right back on the bench. Alright, so this is part one of our holiday buggy extravaganza. Yeah, you saw that rain delay out there. So fortunate thing is that means I get to build this. Um, so this is my first Tamiya kit, so I'm gonna do a legit unboxing and all that. Pretty excited. Um, hopefully, I can. This will be cut up into multiple parts. I'll probably do like. I won't do every piece and all that, but. Um, I don't know. So yeah, there's the box. Good. It's on the DTO2 chassis. It's a 2000, 2010 model. Riri. So we're going to start with the, the stock electronics because it comes with the Hobbywing 1060, which I love those. Um, and they go on 3S with the 390 brush motor, I believe. So, um, but here we go. So that's how they come packed. It's not bad. Simpler, it's not like the old school blister packs. So, um, but we're gonna upgrade this. I got a brush system or brushless system. We're gonna go right away with a brushless after I do the initial runs. Um, looks like there's mounts, double sided sticky tape. So, this goes on the motor. There's a body, it's pretty cool. Dusty, rusty tires. I like these. Pretty nice. There's some more chassis parts, driver in the top. And our uh, jerry can. I used to sell jerry cans. Um, it was the largest distributor when I did Army Surplus. And I sold uh, for a couple years there before they made them non car compliant. Isn't that crazy? Uh, not to skid sidetrack. Jerry cans are illegal in many states, even though they're they're what we use to transport fuel in the military. It's absolutely absurd. That's when you know your state's a little goofy. Anyways, <laughs> so there's a tub chassis. Um, looks very similar to the BTO. Yeah, so see, there's your TTO and there's your GTO. It's not a whole lot different. It's pretty cool. Our swing arms, the uh, differential case, There's our front shock towers and rear shock towers and front chassis plate. Doesn't look like it's a whole lot of parts, so I should be able to get this done in a, tonight and just put it out in a couple videos. There's our cups. These are nice. I always do a good job with metal cups. <clears throat> Here's our swing arms. And our driver guy's already painted. So not a whole lot of paint going on there. That's cool. That's cool. And then there's our uh, looks like battery battery servo mount. Front bumper. There's our rear cups. And, and our uh, Hubs. And then here's our parts pack. It's got the, uh, let's see what's in here. There's our diff, our servo saver. This looks like our tools, our bushings, screws, nuts, and bolts, our shocks. Now, my build, we're not going to need the shocks. Um, 
I've got some upgrades right off the muscle. I took uh, Fast Freddy's advice and I went with uh, some aftermarket oil filled and I got bearings so we won't need the ones that come with the kit. Save them for another day, rainy day or whatever. So use them as needed so we're going to skip the whole part of the building these. Now I might use these on my um, Madcap just to shorten the stretch. These are smaller to begin with so they might work out good. Plus I think I don't know, they could be open. So this bag, bag A, it's got your grease, your uh, diff, your front steering mounts and pinions and some more bolts. And bag B is our springs, our tubes, double-sided tapes, and a few more. And then here's our little 390 motor. We'll put this in to begin with. We're going to run it stock first, <clears throat> see how well it runs. You, you know, do a speed run on it, like we do with all of the stuff we get in. So we'll start with that. It's already got the pinion on there. Um, here's our front tires. This should be our hobby wing. Any luck. Yep, there's our hobby wing. 60 amp. Well, this will get use even after. So, yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. And there's instruction booklet. I'll need that. Looks pretty good. If you guys want a detailed. I'm going to be flying through it, cutting out, and you don't need to watch me soon. But if you want a detailed how-to, go check out Fast Freddy. I'll put a link in the description. He's got this and the DTO3 he's doing right now. Um, but yeah, I'll read through this in a minute, and then we'll start the next um, part two, which will be, let's see what we'll, we'll get to. Part two will most likely be, we'll build our... Uh, build our rear diff and our front suspension that's where we'll start you know and then we'll do we'll see how long that is yeah we'll probably get to step 15 15 or 16 16 foot the shocks on so yeah we'll start there and then we'll do one with the tub and the electronics which will be through step 30 at least that's where I think. What else is in here? So we got our stickers. Pretty cool. This is actually part of. I'm doing a little something. I'm doing it a little different. I'm not going to do box art. Um, I'm going to do it right place style. <laughs> so, yeah. So I hope you dig. Um, we'll get back to it right away. Get the box out of the way. Show you this so in the end like i said we're going to be going to a brushless so we got this surpass hobby brushless we're going to put in there it's a 2845 then i got a surpass hobby 35 amp psc we we'll put in there too just for a test run i might put the original back in it after but yeah not bad not bad at all well i'll see you when i see you and uh look out for step two and like and subscribe and all that and that way you can update it on all of our progress with this. Should be a fun, fun build. All right, peace.